Hey, it's Michael. In this video, we'll talk about transparency in your DTG print files. Let's go over what transparency is, how to recognize it, and why you should avoid it when you're creating designs for DTG products. A lot of us like to use transparencies in our designs. It's a cool effect and a good way to make specific design elements pop. A transparent graphic element is one that has less than 100% opacity. A fully transparent element will be invisible, whereas semi-transparent elements will be somewhat see-through. Transparency works great for all of our print products. However, if you're designing for a product that will be printed in direct-to-garment or DTG technique, you should steer clear of transparency as a design element. Let's open up Photoshop and talk about why DTG printing and transparency don't go together. It's quite common to use a pressure sensitive brush when designing. It gives the impression that you're painting with the lighter and darker tones. But once we remove the white background, we can see it's all the same shade of blue. The difference is in opacity. And there lies the problem. When it comes to DTG printing, the inks we use aren't transparent diluted pigments. Instead, they are saturated pigments that can only produce solid colors. So when a printer encounters a transparent element, it will try to make up for the missing information by spreading ink over the areas. You'll end up with gaps where the white base will be visible. The best way to avoid this is to steer clear of pressure sensitive brush tools altogether and use only solid color in your designs for DTG products. If you do want to have a transparent effect, there are some ways you can still incorporate it into your design. You can give your design a semi-transparent faded effect but only if you have a solid design element underneath. This will result in a much better looking print. We've also seen cases of people trying to get a transparent design element by adding a design background that matches the color of the garment. We wouldn't recommend doing this. You always have to keep in mind the white underbase that's used with DGG printing. So all the colors will look lighter. A black background on a black t-shirt will look more gray than black. You can also use a technique called half toning. Essentially, this means a pattern of dots that create the illusion of an image. With this technique, you can create an illusion of semi-transparency. For a thorough tutorial on how to use this technique for your design, check out our 10 tips for a perfect design file video. I'll link it in the description below, along with some other useful links that'll help you with your print files. And that's all. Did you find this video useful? What other design-related questions do you have for us? Let me know in the comments below.